all right guys it's hot here in alabama summertime i'm gonna give you guys a few tips tip number one stay away from those banks you want to get out here in the middle of the lake that's where those big bass are going to be and you want to find something like a point a ledge a drop off a hump a creek you know some kind of wood something like that it's getting pretty bad over there i may have to get off the lake here in a minute but something like that is going to allow you to you know something that the fish are going to congregate around and if you can find something like a tree laid over on a hump or or on a uh, you know a creek drop off that'll be even better a lot of times you'll find schooling fish there so a couple of the baits that we're going to be using to start off with a one half ounce jig i'm going to use that to kind of search around out here and i'll fill the bottom with this it's like a rock when you drop that thing down there it goes straight to the bottom and it's easy to fill structure and ledges and drop offs with a jig so i'm going to use that as my search bait all right once i find something i'm interested in big 12 inch worm and we're going to throw that and uh that's going to catch the big ones and for you guys that have never caught a trophy size fish a lot of you kids out there that are wanting to catch a big fish i guarantee you if you put your 12 inch worm on fish it as much as you can you'll catch a trophy size fish that's what they like to bite those big look how long that is you know it's half the length of my arm but big fish will eat this bait so as soon as i find a good spot out here i'm going to use this all right and i i don't usually bring my electronics in the summertime as you can see i've already found a little spot with some a little brush pile down there but i brought it this time that way i can show you after i catch a fish i'll show you what it was what depth i was in but i'm going to use my jig to kind of be my eyes you know i'm going to let it kind of tell me what's below the surface and then i'll just come back and show you guys what i found here all right guys one other tip i'm either dipping it in a garlic scent or i'm spraying it with these i'm going to take them and spray them because i don't need to dye the tail so i've got a little garlic scent on there i can almost assure you i'll come across a big bass at some point today and that garlic will help entice that bite so let's see if we can get on a summertime pattern Got her on the big 12 inch June bug worm. Those big bass like to eat those big worms. Let's put her back. Guys, look at how many fish are stacked up down there on the bottom. That is a giant school. Let's see if we can get some in the boat. Alright, guys, I hadn't caught a fish in about an hour. It's been a little bit of a struggle, so I'm going to change it up. I'm going to try a little bit different style worm. I want to go a floating worm, something that'll, it's a little bit more finesse and that'll also float up whenever it's down there. The head, the head will be down here and that tail will be sitting there waggling like that. I may, it may help me locate some smaller fish and a school of fish. So we'll try this Texas rig and see if we can get one on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
That's a big old Alabama largemouth right here. Fishing this little ledge out here. These things have some power. Gosh. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish. Hey, I had to go finesse to get it. Put the big 12 inch worm down. But that's what it took. And that is a beauty right there. Man, one healthy fish. Fat. Been eating good. That's a good sign for summertime. That's one beautiful looking fish. That's what you want to see in the summertime. All right, so this is that spot I just caught the nice seven pounder at. I'll show you on the graph what it looks like. We're up here on the bank. It felt like a double hump as I was coming across it with that jig whenever I found it. So we're in three foot water up here on the bank. And then watch here as we start dropping off. All right, we're heading out towards the main lake. We got one big drop off there. There we go. A bunch of bait fish down in there. That's that double hump. Like I said, there's a hump up here. I caught that big fish out of that bottom. You know, I brought that finesse worm right down in there. And then there's another hump. So you could tell a lot of those fish are stacked up right there in between those two humps. And then this hump leads out into the main lake. That's where I was positioning my boat. So I'm sitting out here in 13 feet of water, throwing up there, bringing it down that hump, and back up the other side. And you can tell those fish, there's some fish stacked out here in the main lake too. I'm probably gonna back off and fish them just a little bit. But it's a good summertime pattern. Search these humps, ledges, points. That's where those big ones are gonna be held up. Dude, that, that's that's got to be a small fish right there. He got it again. Nope, not a small one. <laughs> I thought it was a small one. There ain't nothing small about him. He just bit it three times. That's a good one. Big old worm. Summertime fish. Here's one. Got a fish on and got a gator coming right in here to eat him. Gator messed up our spot there. 12 inch worms. It's a good one. <laughs> 